Hey guys, today in this video I'm going to be doing a first impressions on a two pound foundation. It's a stick foundation and it's the PS foundation stick. And this is two pounds from Primark and it's so cheap, it's legit so cheap and I want to try it out for you guys and see what one. And I'm kind of scared because I think it's going to break me out and I think today is a good time. I think today is a good day to try this foundation out to see the coverage and everything because I think I broke out from a primer yesterday because I've got a spot here and I've got like little bumps on my forehead. I'm just like, I think, it's a, I think it was a primer that I was using yesterday. But let's see what this foundation is all about. So it's got 8 grams of product or... 0.28 US fluid ounce and usually stick foundations don't have as much as liquid foundations but this is how much product you get so you don't get too much but two pounds you can't you're not really using that much money and I think it's a good match I try to match myself as best as possible I am in the shade tan slash bronze the packaging is like this matte black packaging and it feels really really cheap and very plasticky I mean a lot of makeup comes in plastic but you know like this Chanel plastic feels very nice this feels very thin and flimsy okay let's get on with testing this I'm gonna be using my Chanel moisturizer just to moisturize my skin by the way this lip oil is absolutely incredible look at it it's so shiny it's from Barium Love it. For primer, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Veil Primer. This is their mineral primer and it's so good. Just applying it here on the nose, just the center of the face, and then blending it outwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the foundation out of my face and blend one side with a brush and one side with a sponge. So let's see what one. I'm just going to... Yep. Seems to be a good match for me. I think so. Okay, so it's running on quite now. Okay. It's very um creamy, a lot of product. Legit just <laughs> rubbed off on my face. Okay, so very, very soft formula, so you have to be quite careful with it. So when you're swiping it on, don't go too harsh. I'm going to be using two products that a lot of people use. Uh, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and this uh, Real Techniques Massive Ass Sponge. This is their body sponge. <laughs> I like big things, guys. This is the normal size. And this is the body one. This is it wet. It's huge. I love it because it blends foundation so quick. You need to get it, guys. It's, it's like a one pound more than the original one, I believe. And... It's huge. If you are a girl or boy on the go, you need this in your life because it's just so quick with applying foundation and it's the same amount of softness as the original one. Look at it, it's it's just magic to me. It's just magic. It's actually a miracle. Okay, let's start blending. Ooh. It's quite a full coverage, you know. Does it really have a smell? Which is a good thing, I think. Yes, It's kind of dewy on the skin. It's not turning matte at all, which I kind of like. This is a perfect match. I did good, man. I did good. I hope this don't bring me out too, you know. Because two pounds, I mean. Fam! Are you crazy? I'm, like, so surprised. Well, it applies nicely with a brush. Let's see with a sponge. It's pretty much covered the, the spot. Yes. I like the finish, you know. It's quite nice. Whatever's left on my sponge, I'm just going to blend down my neck. But I don't really need to because it matches so nicely. So I have just applied my concealer and my powder, I use Rimmel Stain Matte Powder and my Elego Pro Conceal in Pure Beige and it applied nicely, my skin feels really really nice and velvety, um, it's a little bit tacky, but I don't mind, 
Um, it's 7.25 right now on my Daniel Wellington watch. If you want a coupon code on Daniel Wellington, it's, it's buff. Um, use my coupon code PRINCE15. That's PRINCE15 for 15% off. <laughs> I have taken a picture with flash on my phone and it doesn't seem to have any flashback, which is great. It's a plus to me. I'm gonna give you a close-up as well right now of how the foundation looks. So this is my skin texture. Yeah, I'm gonna check back in a few hours. I'm gonna do my makeup, film some videos, and I'll see what I'll go on with this foundation. So as you can see, I've just done the whole of my makeup. It's been about two hours now. It's 10 past 9. I watched some Bro Alaska um, from our presents. If you guys watched that, let me know down below. Um, I love it. I think Corey is so cute. <laughs> so this is what the foundation looks like. I would say it looks so good. It looks so good. This is my makeup, by the way, if you like it. I use my um, Jeffree Star and George Jenny palette. Yeah, this foundation is nice. From what I can see, it's because I do this a lot. Little, um, there's little fine lines here, but that's just normal. I do that all the time anyway. Maybe I just needed it to settle a bit more, but I can see because it's so emollient. If this foundation stays on longer than my skin, I think it may go oily if you've got oily skin, but since I've got dry skin, it's fine. I've got dry skin and this foundation is sick on me. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I will recommend it. I just hope it don't break me out. But I'll leave an annotation right here if it broke me out because I've obviously would have worn this. I've obviously would have edited and uploaded this at a later date. I like this a lot. Pros and cons. Pro, it's two pounds. It's really good coverage, it applies nicely, and the finish is just really nice on the skin. The finish to me is really nice. It's not dewy, it's not matte, it doesn't turn dry on the skin. I like it, I really, really like it. The cons are the packaging is really cheap. It's so creamy that I feel like it's gonna go down so quick. I feel like it's already gone down a lot just by that one application. There's not a lot of darker shades, if I'm honest. There's like really fair shades up to medium skin tones maybe just a, like a little bit darker than me so if you're around that skin tone range then you could definitely find a shade for you but if you're any darker than say me or like indian pakistani skin tone i don't think you'll find a shade if i'm honest so that's kind of a con <laughs> That's, that's bad. But anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you like these type of first impression videos then definitely let me know because I will do more for you guys because it was quite fun. It was quite fun. Maybe I'll find crappier products in the future. Maybe I'll find good products in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this has been Marks Upon to the Prince of Vanity. Hashtag get marked to 150k. Use that hashtag please because I want to reach 150,000 and I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!